Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I'll teach you how to make this exact animation in Blender 2.8 in Eevee. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so press S, then Shift Z to scale the cube on the X and Y axis, then go to Edit Mode, go to Face Select, and then select the top face, and then press X to delete the uh, top face, then go back to Object Mode, and then let's add a Solidify modifier to add some thickness to the object, and you can increase the value. And uh, let's also scale it on the uh, Z axis, so press S, then Z to scale it on Z axis, and then apply the uh, modifier. Then let's add a circle, press G, then Z, then R, X, then 90, to rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis, then press G, then Y to grab it on the Y axis, then S to scale. And uh, then let's go into edit mode, click F to fill, and then E, then Y to extrude it on the Y axis. And as you can see, we now have the inflow object. So uh, let's add the water physics. Start off with the fluid physics for the uh, inflow. Then let's set the Y value to uh, 5. A higher value means a stronger inflow. And then let's select the pool fluid. And then let's turn this into an obstacle. And then use the shell. OK. And then we need to add a domain, which is the uh, border for the simulation. So uh, go to Mesh, Cube, and then press S to scale. And then press S, then Shift Set to uh, scale the object only on the X and Y axis. And then press G, then Set to grab it on the Z axis. And then turn this into a domain. Let's set the resolution to uh, 150 for now, and then we will increase it later. Use the final value for the viewport. And... Uh, Let's uh, set the end value to 8, so that we have a longer simulation. And then the next step is to bake the animation. So click Bake, and after a few minutes of baking, you will have the uh, full simulation. As you can see, the inflow was uh, sort of weak, so we need to select the inflow object. And then increase the uh, value on the y-axis. And then let's go into the fluid physics and increase the resolution for a later bake. So let's set it to 300 for the final bake. And then let's uh, save it. So click File, Save As. And let's call it uh, Toot. And then Enter to save. And you can save it wherever you want on the computer. And then let's move the cursor to the inflow object so that we can add a uh, tube. So cursor to selected. And then go to Add, Mesh and then add a cylinder. And then press R, X, then 90 to rotate the cylinder 90 degrees on the X axis. And then press S to scale. Then G, then Y to grab it on the Y axis. And then S, then Y to scale it on the Y axis. Let's go into edit mode. Hold and shift to select the both faces. Then press N and increase the min increase value to one. And then let's add the uh, subdivision surface modifier for smoothness. And then select the front face and press X to delete the uh, face. And then let's also add a solidify modifier to uh, give the object some thickness. Then maybe we should grab the uh, tube on the Y axis. So press G then Y to grab it on the Y axis and then S to scale. Okay, so now we need to add the lighting and the materials. So uh, select the light. And then go into the light settings, change it into a sun and set the strength to 15, which uh, should be enough. And then let's add a material to the water. And as you can see, the uh, fluid turns into the uh, domain box. So we need to bake it again later. But for now, let's add the uh, water material. So uh, let's set the surface to glass. The IOR to 1.333, or uh, 4 divided by 3. And then let's set the roughness to 0. And in order to get transparent glass, we need to enable refraction. Let's go into the render settings and enable refraction under screen space reflections. 
And before we start the 300 bake, let's just set it to 150 so that we can see the water while setting up the materials. And uh, then let's uh, go into the rendered view. Now, the next step is to add a material for the water pool. So uh, let's add a new material, use the diffuse shader, and then let's make it uh, dark. So something like this. So experiment with the colors and uh, then we can add the floor. So right click below the pool to move the cursor and then add and then let's add a plane and then press S to scale. And uh, then we can duplicate the plane. So uh, press Shift D and then RX the 90 to rotate the duplication 90 degrees on the X axis. Then press G, then Y to grab it on the Y axis. Okay, and, uh, and then we can add the material. So click new to add a new material. And then let's add a diffuse shader and make it dark. And then we can use the same material for the floor as well. You can also hide the overlay to uh, get rid of the grid, for example. And then let's select the uh, tube, add a new material, and I'm going to make it blue. Okay. And then we're going to set up the camera. So press uh, numpad zero to look through the camera. And then go into view and lock the camera to view. And then we also need to uh, increase the range of the uh, camera. So we'll select the camera. And then go into the camera settings and then increase the end value for the camera to increase the range. And we should also scale up the uh, floor and the uh, wall. So S to scale. I think I'm going to make the floor and the wall a bit darker. So uh, let me just uh, change the color. So something like this. And then I'm going to bake the uh, animation at a higher resolution. So uh, let's go into the uh, domain settings. And then set the final resolution to 300. If you have a really fast or slow computer, you can also add a, a different value if you want to. So uh, let's save before we bake the animation. So go to File, Save As, and then click on the plus sign, and then Enter to save. And then we can bake the animation at a new higher final resolution. And at 300, it's probably going to take... Uh, an hour to bake, but uh, once it's done, it's going to look really good. So uh, let's go into the output settings, set the frame rate to 30 FPS, and uh, then select a folder for the file animation, and then give the animation a name, and then click enter to set the name and folder. And then let's use the uh, AVI JPEG file format and set the quality to 100%. And it looks good, so uh, let's render it. So uh, go to render. And then set the display mode to the image editor. And then the render and then render animation. And uh, that's it for this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll post more Blender 2.8 tutorials very soon, so thank you guys for watching, and subscribe.